Welcome to the enchanting world of Mary Poppins, a film that danced its way into our hearts with a spoonful of sugar and a touch of magic. Yet amidst the flying umbrellas and cheerful tunes, there were storms brewing behind the scenes, stories that remained hidden until now. Today we're diving into the lesser known tales, the whispers and rumors that swirled around this beloved classic. Facts First presents scandals that happen behind the scenes of Mary Poppins. Julie Andrews got typecast. Julie Andrews's dazzling portrayal of the magical nanny catapulted both her career and the film to legendary status. But the career-defining role also pigeonholed her as the prim and proper Poppins. Her witty Mary Poppins is a junkie bumper sticker epitomized her mixed feelings towards being typecast for mainstream success while simultaneously confined to a wholesome image. She longed to show her versatility, but post Poppins projects struggled to find audiences who only wanted to see the indomitable nanny. Dick Van Dyke's Secret Torment Behind Bert's charismatic dancing and flawless Cockney accent, Dick Van Dyke privately battled intense alcoholism and depression. This disconnect between his on-screen joy and off-screen darkness remained hidden for years. Only recently has Van Dyke opened up about working through splitting hangovers, suicidal ideation, and intense self-loathing while filming his career-defining role. Still, not even his closest colleagues detected his suffering. P. L. Travers, a thorn in Disney's side British author P. L. Travers hated the Disney adaptation of her beloved books. Her scorn extended to the music, animation, and even casting choices. The combative back and forth between Travers and Disney spanned decades, marked by endless rejections of his proposals. The tug of war personified the frequent clash between protective authors and interpretive filmmakers. Even after the film's release, Travers' dissatisfaction lingered, forbidding any Americans from working on future Poppins projects. The torturous journey to secure the film rights. Obtaining Travers' blessing was only one battle in Disney's long war to secure the film rights. An ardent promise to his daughter fueled his perseverance through countless unanswered letters and denied requests. Even casting faced endless disputes, with Travers scoffing at Disney's considerations like Cary Grant for Burt. Still, Walt Disney persisted, his vision evolving from the scripts that Travers said were unworthy of her creation. After nearly 20 years courting the stubborn writer, Disney finally won the grueling rights battle, though clashing creative differences continued throughout filming. Karen Dotris's Musical Mishaps Young Karen Dotris, cast as innocent Jane Banks, faced unexpected challenges carrying the film's musical responsibilities. Her initial operatic-style singing elicited laughter from the seasoned crew during rehearsals. After Julie Andrews kindly intervened to retrain her technique, the promising young starlet blossomed into the charming on-screen sister fans adore. Sentimental Backstory More than box office prospects, Mary Poppins represented a 20-year promise fulfilled. As we mentioned, Walt Disney's affection for his daughters and Travers's books fueled an obsessive quest to craft a fitting film adaptation. His fondness for subtle moments like Feed the Birds, connecting Mary Poppins and the Birdwoman, demonstrated Disney's emotional investment. Dripping in sentimentality, this personal project celebrated imaginations young and old from its very first lyrical note. Racially insensitive or just soot? Examining a controversial scene. Modern viewers interpret Mary Poppins and Burt's soot-covered faces differently than 1960s audiences. Today, the darkened complexions and obscure facial features toe an uncomfortable line reminiscent of racially offensive blackface minstrelsy. But contemporaries saw merely the byproduct of two sweeps gaily caked in chimney soot without any underlying commentary on race or ethnicity. Tongue-twisting lawsuit even the snappy mouthful, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, didn't escape legal disputes. Songwriters accused Sherman Brothers Robert and Richard of plagiarizing the tongue-twisting term from their similar 1950s composition. However, the case crumbled upon the discovery of the word's first documented appearance in a 1931 newspaper. The widely publicized lawsuit over Disney's invented adjective typed the film's composers as copyright infringers for weeks until officials uncovered the antiquated evidence. 
from Bride of Frankenstein to Nanny Extraordinaire. Casting horror icon Elsa Lanchester as the eccentric nanny seemed an odd choice for a family-friendly musical. Fresh off her career-defining role as the Bride of Frankenstein, Lanchester's intimidating persona hardly evoked warm and nurturing vibes. Yet Walt Disney saw beyond her macabre credentials, recognizing her potential eccentricity and unpredictability fittingly matched the unconventional character. How Technological Innovation Set New Industry Standards Disney utilized cutting-edge technology to seamlessly integrate animation with live action, an astounding big screen first. Complex techniques evolved specially for Mary Poppins, set soaring new standards in special effects, and won an Academy Award honoring the studio's groundbreaking technical achievements. For 1966 audiences, scenes with animated penguin waders or horsehead handles springing to life felt thrillingly surreal. The Sobering Side of Child Stardom Behind adorable on-screen smiles, the Banks children experienced radically different fortunes. Tragically, Matthew Garber's life ended just as his career kindled, claimed by pancreatitis at 21 years old. Co-star Karen Dotris, on the other hand, retired from acting by her teens, prioritizing normalcy after feeling robbed of a traditional childhood. Critical Recognition and Lasting Cultural Impact Despite being snubbed as Best Picture, Mary Poppins dominated the 1964 Academy Awards. Beyond trophies for dazzling visuals and iconic songs, Julie Andrews claimed Best Actress for her luminous debut. Garnering Disney his first competitive Oscar ever, the film's 13 nominations and five wins validated the magic audiences instantly adored. Nearly 60 years later, songs like A Spoonful of Sugar and scenes like the Chimney Sweep Dance remain captivating cultural landmarks. Casting for Maximum Immersion David Tomlinson vanishing behind multiple characters demonstrated actors as cross-functional contributions. Tomlinson voiced not only Mr. Banks, but ancillary animal characters as well. Similarly, Dick Van Dyke played both wisecracking Bert and doddering senior Mr. Dawes. This creative casting reinforced the all-hands-on-deck spirit behind the scenes. Whether singing, dancing, voicing animated characters, or portraying multiple roles, the versatile cast and crew played integral parts actualizing Disney's whimsical vision. Julie Andrews' Brush with Death Attempting to recreate cinematic magic sometimes endangers real lives. While gracefully descending with her umbrella from a fly rig, the wires suspending Andrews snapped unexpectedly, sending the actress tumbling towards disaster. Thankfully, a lighting rig abruptly halted her fatal fall. The shaken starlet understandably hesitated resuming aerial stunts after the near-death mishap. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of the movie Mary Poppins? Let us know in the comments section below.